Maybe it's a distress signal. What the fuck that's gonna do? Are you gonna be in misery all the time? Yes. So you're looking for my point of view, stuck in here with your mum's cooking. Therefore, she speaks for your planet. But she can't. Yeah, I can. Don't you dare. Someone's got to be the doctor. They'll kill you. I've never stopped him. the darkness. Next to us, you are but a wailing child. You are the goddess, your planet can offer us a champion, then your world then your will world be gutted, and your people will enslave Hold on, that's English. He's talking English. You're talking English. I would never dirty my tongue with your primitive bio. That's English. Yeah, that's English. Definitely English. I speak only Sigarak Sik! Spoken in English. It's being translated. Which means it's working. Which means. Did you miss me? Oh, yes, Doctor. We did miss you very much indeed. The invasion of Christmas, or the Christmas invasion, should I say. The first story of the Tenth Doctor, starring the, the indescribable David Tennant. <laughs> I think he'd spent the most of the story in bed <laughs> and then he turns up at the last minute to save the day i thought that was very clever how the um the language translator from the tardis started to operate when the doctor recovered there and how apt that it should be 
an English brew, a wonderful cup of tea, courtesy of a uh, uh, Mickey that uh, brings the the Doctor round. I thought that was um, a very clever twist. Uh, the Doctor in his dressing gown and pajamas there, um, after being very unwell following the regeneration. Lovely to see um, the MP for Flydale North back. Of course, now she's Prime Minister, I think, um, Harriet Jones. And uh, yes, I thought the Sycorax looked great, actually, didn't they? Very effective. And I thought that whole cavern was really well realised. Yes, I had a lot of um, atmosphere to it. Um, and of course, Billy Piper holding her own, really, in this story for the, the, the majority of it, you know, really sort of um, being centre stage, if you like, which um, is an interesting uh, thing to keep in mind, because I think one of the key things about the new series, which followed on from the end of the classic series, was giving the companion much more of an emphasis, which I think is certainly what we saw in uh, in this one. Um, but uh, yes, the Doctor recovers in time to save the day, to save the world from the Sycorax, thanks to Azak Zuma. Ah, Doctor Who was back in a big way.